Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to the video today. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you one of the tools that I use. It's a free tool, and it's something that I use um, virtually every day uh, for a bunch of different reasons, but it's a really cool tool that I like to utilize for my affiliate marketing business. And uh, like I said, you can use it for a lot of different things. Um, it's basically creating, uh, it's a graphic design website. It's called Canva. And we'll just get right into it. This is it right here. You might have heard of it, but I just wanted to kind of show you, um, for instance, what I used it for recently. And you're going to see it at the end of this video if you stay stay around for it, okay? Um, so I've been doing these YouTube videos for a while, but I really didn't have an outro or a um, or just an end kind of an end card at the end. Uh, so I decided to design one that would maybe look a little bit better at the end of my all of my videos okay so I used Canva just came here and this is I'm already logged into my site but I'm going to show you briefly what um, you know what it offers you can design all kinds of different things and as you see right here we got YouTube thumbnails uh, Pinterest pins a blog post I use this one all the time a Facebook post Instagram post everything and they have all kinds of different things these are some of the ones that I've done you have probably seen these uh, these are some of my YouTube posts uh, my, my YouTube thumbnail and I'm going to show you this one right here that I just di did yesterday I'm going to put it at the end of this video so this is it basically right here this is a picture that I took uh, I think it was in Cabo maybe a couple years ago I don't remember it's either Cabo or Cancun this looks like Cabo anyway um, so it's just a picture that I uploaded and then I got my logo and a little added this text right here saying to subscribe so at the end of my video what you'll see is um, you know my picture right here telling you to subscribe that's why it's pointing that way and then maybe over here a video um, that YouTube will basically suggest to you at the end of my video so I wanted to have this look a little better than just having it paste over whatever was on my screen at the time so this will go at the end of all my videos I may change this up a bit but this is just to kind of get started and it's real simple. Um, you just add a text. You can just go here. You have all these free options. See how it says free right here? You can just click right there. You can move this around to wherever. We can change out the text. Yeah, you know, so you just type it in. Um, delete element. So it's real easy. Just you just add text, add a uh, a photo. You can either um, upload them here, which is what I had done. So you can change it out if you want, real simple like that. If I wanted to change it to that, um, you can also click here to photos, and these are the stock photos you can use. Uh, you can let's see. Let's say I didn't have a picture of a beach. <laughs> um, we can put beach, maybe beach office. How about that? And once again, you're going to see some, um, anytime you see this, it says pro. That's one that you have to be a pro member to purchase. But there's always free ones. You just got to search around for them. So here, this one's free. This one's free. Free. You just got to look at the bottom here to see if it's free. And you can just put that in there instead. Okay. So I could do it that way if I'd like. I kind of just like my, my personal picture because it reminds me of, you know, vacation I took pretty recently so all right and then as far as this goes this is this box right here it's just an element and that's right here element they've got shapes arrows it's also under lines that's how I made this arrow here so you just add that move it around you can change the color up here gray yellow whatever you want it to be we'll delete that um, you can add any of these shapes as well stickers all kinds of different things in here and then I also added the subscribe text okay so that's how easy it is really uh, to do you can create kind of anything you want there's all kinds of templates in here as well um, that a lot of them that are free that you can use um, so once you're done with your whatever you're creating at the time you're just gonna go over here to download and you can save it into a file that like a PNG or a JPEG real simple you just click on that hit download I've already downloaded this one so I'm not gonna do that again 
But yeah, super simple. It just goes to a file. You go, you know, download that to a file on your computer, and then you can use it wherever you want. So let me also show you, like I said, there's a bunch of templates. Um, you've got social media events. You can do Instagram posts, um, blog banners, which is what I always do. Of course, I make my YouTube thumbnails right here. And they have the templates already designed. So let's say you want to do, let's go to Instagram post. And it brings up, you've got this square right here is the exact dimensions that you need for Instagram, the one that, one that they want you to uh, utilize when you're posting to Instagram. So it makes it super simple. And we'll just go to templates. And let's say your Instagram is all about um, food. Here we've got food Instagram posts. We can check out those, uh, these templates here. Let me just go down, find a free one. Let's say we like that one and we're going to make a little Instagram post and you want to ask a question. All you got to do is go in here and change, I don't know, your text here. Maybe you want to say salad for lunch. You can change it to whatever you want. It can be completely different, but just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to just show you how easy it is to change. Change out the picture. You're just going to click on it. Let's go to photos. Maybe we want a different picture of a salad. So let's say we like this one better. You just bring it up into here. No, I don't like that better, but let's bring this one in. <laughs> okay, you can crop it. So if we want to move it around a little bit, center it. Okay, change out the coloring here if you'd like. You know, just like I did in the other one. So you can customize all these templates as well. So you would just go and you can send it directly over to your um, Instagram. Oops. But like I said, I like to download. That way I just have it on file. I have a whole file full of them. Uh, and I, I can just upload it anytime I want to wherever I want. All right. So that's how simple it is to use. You can use it for all kinds of different things, not just social media. As you can see, you know, um, maybe you've got an invitation you want to send out soon or a brochure or a poster. We have infographics you can create, worksheets, lesson plans for those of you who are now homeschooling thanks to the pandemic. But um, you've got everything that you want to create right here and it's just super simple to use. It's free. They do have a, you know, paid versions. You've got your pro version here, enterprise. I'm not sure what all these are. Um, but I find that it's, that the free one is adequate enough for me. I might upgrade. The pro is, like I said, I'm under free right now, but you've got, you've got all this other stuff you can get with the Canva Pro for only $9.95 a month. That's not bad. So I might, I might consider switching because I use it all the time. I use it for my blog post, the YouTube thumbnails, um, starting to do more in, on Instagram. So I'm going to use it for that. And also, um, and just kind of create some infographics for my particular blog that I'm doing. And then like I just showed you, the one I just did, this one right here, I mean, you know, I used it for that too. So I might upgrade. I don't know. I don't necessarily have to. Like I said, the free offers you plenty of things you can do to, um, you know, kind of play around with. So I'll leave a link to Canva in the, um, in the description. I hope this, um, I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you found some way that you can utilize this in your business. Uh, or just in your everyday life, if your social media life, whatever. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And also, like I said, I'm going to, you're going to see at the end of this video, uh, the end card is going to be the, the one I just created. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it up here now. And I'm going to ask you to subscribe and check out any of my other videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.